you guys. All right, you guys, what's going on? It's Luke from Luke GTV. And uh, as you guys know, Jessica Kent has come clean. She has come clean. She's spilled the tea. She's told everything. She's cleaned her side of the street. Oh, wait. Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Okay, okay. So let's go. What's up, guys? I'm Luke from Luke GTV. Who am I? I am an addict. I've been an addict for 17 years, going on 17 years, 13 of those years, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but anyways, if you guys are dialed in right now, you've probably been following the whole Jessica Kent saga. Um, you know, basically what has gone on is... You know, it all started, well, for me, it started a while ago, but it all started when she invited another influencer into her home who was an addict, who was trying to get sober at Jessica Kent's house. They had a falling out at her house, um, and the other influencer, Mindy Scorpio, uh, accused her um, of having people in her house using. She accused Jessica of using. We saw text messages where she said, I'm the queen of calming violent men down on meth. She, my name rings bells in the streets, etc., etc." And last night, Jessica came out with a video that it sounded like she changed her character overnight, you guys. So, you know, let's go into this with an open mind. Let's, let's give Jessica the benefit of the doubt. I'm really trying to, but I'm not going to... You know, I'm, I'm not going to stop what I'm saying because there's this other narrative going on is she's a person, she's struggling and this, that, and the third, but it's not really about the fact that she relapsed. It's not about the fact, you know, it's just, it's, there's so much to digest that like, it's like, I have a lot of points, but I kind of forget them sometimes, but it's kind of more of her character, you know, now that we've seen these text messages, we really, um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, personally, I, I feel like, you know, we saw the real her. Maybe, you know, maybe that's, I don't know, you know, maybe she really is trying to get her life together. She looked better in this video, you guys. She looked better. Um, but... I want to dive into the video and let's kind of, you know, analyze what has been going on since what she said. So, um, yeah, let's check it out, you guys. So, so let, let's see what Jess has to say, you guys. Let's see if we believe it. to try to make her life harder. So I was trying to take her only transportation away to showing up at her doorstep all hours of the night and calling her constantly, sending the cops over there to harass her. It has been a lot. So there is a lot to talk about, right? And I can't fix everything. So, I mean, interesting, interesting. I mean, so Reese was the abuser, but he called the cops. You know, I mean, and I'm not trying to discount, there definitely could have been uh, domestic violence, and I'm not saying there wasn't. However, there's two sides to a story. I Like I've always said from the beginning, I love to hear Reese's side because like we still, like this guy does not have a platform to defend himself. And the reason I got, the reason I started coming after Jessica so hard is because I just saw the manipulation of how she just put Reese's business all out there. And, you know, up until now, like she's been with Reese pretty much the whole time she's had this channel and it was nothing but he's a great guy, you know, he's the best and da 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 da, which, you know, I'm not saying she couldn't have been covering up for him, but it's just strange that, you know, right when Jason gets out of prison, all of a sudden Reese becomes the abuser. Reese, Reese is endangering the kids. You know, you guys, I mean, 
you guys, let, let's 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 take a picture here, okay? You know what? Reese was drinking, you guys, and doing cocaine. Jason sells meth, and Jason uses, but Reese is the problem, you guys. It's Reese is the problem, okay? Like I just, I just didn't know. I didn't get it until now. She's just. It, it makes perfect sense. Okay, so let's let's dive in. Let's analyze. Let's come on, come on, you guys, hit that like button. Let's go. Thing in one video, I can't earn back people's trust in just one video. I can't sit here and say that everything's okay in my life and I'm doing positive things and I'm working on my mental health. I have to show you guys, and that can't be done through one video. But I would like to talk about my uh, mental health first, and then talk about some other things. Um, but my mental health for a long time has been protected. I blinders on. Um, I don't watch my own videos. I don't watch drama channels or commentary channels. I don't open my DMs a lot because it became just so over. Drama channel right here, y'all. I mean, I'm straight up drama. That's, you know, hey, you know what? I will say I do stir the pot a little bit, you know. But if you guys have been rocking with me like I've been rocking with y'all. You feel me? You know I be on that drama shit 24-7. Your boy trying to put out some good information out there. And he trying to keep it a buck. You feel me? So let's go with this shit, man. Sound like some caperoni. Overwhelming. And I never prepared for any of it. I didn't prepare for all of you guys to come in and, and shout <sighs> for me with love and and um empathy and kindness i expected it to go the other way and that sounds weird like that you didn't like like kindness well the thing is it's funny because she deletes her comments so yeah of course your comments on comments comment section is filled with positivity because you censor your comments you delete your comments she says she doesn't read her comments she doesn't watch her videos yet things get deleted now she could have someone like her assistant or editor or what, whatever you want to call it could be deleting the comments. I don't know. Um, but I know for a fact because I every single comment I've ever commented on her videos, every single one has gotten deleted. I know a lot of people's comments get deleted. Um, and, you know, she wants to keep it a positive environment. So for that, you know, I don't blame her. Um, I'm not a, I don't ever delete comments. I've never, I've actually never deleted. I don't think I've ever deleted a single comment on my channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I get where she's coming from a little bit. So come on. I mean, let's give just the benefit of the doubt, you guys. I mean, she's coming clean. She's coming clean. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's, let's go. I did. It was just, um, I'm used to the other stuff. Well, the past couple of weeks, um, I thought it would be a good idea to watch my video back and to watch the commentary channels, to open articles and to watch TikToks talking about it. There were some videos that were like crazy and just absolutely vile, but for the most part. Is she talking about Luke GTV? Is she talking about me? She better not be calling my Jessica. Come on now, Jess. I'm trying to defend you, Jessica. I hope you're not talking about poor old little Luke G T V with 1.75k sub now. Okay, let's go. The feedback that I saw, um, even if someone didn't like me, I still listened with an open heart and an open mind, and a lot of people made a lot of really valid points. And from So, okay, I'm gonna give props where props are due, you know? Like, I liked that comment from Jessica. That actually is showing growth. But the thing, my only problem is with her is like, I just don't trust the words she says. Like, I, I feel like she like knows what to say. She knows, she knows what we want to hear or like she'll, if she doesn't know, she'll try to figure it out. So like, you know, I, I do like what she said. I just, I don't know if she means it. I hope, I hope she does. I'm, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Um, but I do like what she just said. She, you know, she said even the negative feedback, you know, she said people made a lot of really good points. So that that's some accountability. So I'll, I'll you know, plus one Jess right there, you know, hey, you know, come on.
my perspective, just from what I see, people are genuine and they're concerned and they, uh, they want me to be held accountable. And I think that's fair. And, um, I needed to hear a lot of the, a lot of the videos. It is really messy. And I kind of feel like the more I share, the more confusing it is. And my brain is just off the chain. You know, um, I'm very, I'm very stressed. I'm very overwhelmed and I am struggling with my mental health. What I wasn't on. It always comes back to my mental health. You guys, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of mental health right now. Okay. My mental health, my mental health, my mental health is why this is happening. My mental, and hey, you know what? Valid point, valid point. I'm not taking that away from her, but it seemed, there's a common theme in these videos. It all, when, whenever there's an excuse, there's mental health right around the corner. Hey, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to come at this as unbiased as possible, you guys. I really am, but Every time I hear her making an excuse, or maybe it's not an excuse, maybe she's explaining herself, but you know, yin and yang, you can call it an excuse, you can call it explaining yourself, but right around that corner, my mental health, okay? Oh, okay? Honest about is my struggle with alcohol, and I wasn't even honest with myself because I want to believe that I can make it back to the place where I would just have a drink or two at dinner every six months and I was okay, but um, I, I don't. Jess was drinking? <gasps> what do you mean? Ugh, you guys, I'm confused. None of the text messages, none of the, nothing has ever pointed to Jessica drinking. <laughs> and, uh, here I was, I thought it was meth the whole time. I thought it was Adderall. I thought it was gabapentin. I thought it was Xanax. Oh, sh drinking's the problem. I, oh, I get it now, I get it. I don't think I'm anywhere near that. If that can even happen again, I have so much work to do in the meantime and that can't even be on the table right now. Um, not because of the substance but because of the trauma and the stress and my mental health and- Did you guys hear it? Let's count how many times she says mental health. So far it's been twice. Trauma, stress, mental health. You know, these blanket statements, um, you know, and you know, you know what? Ha uh, trauma, mental health, stress, all that stuff has in common it, it makes it easy for someone to become the victim and you know shit i've done it myself you know real recognize real or can't bullshit a bullshitter i just i recognize that and you know maybe that's part of human nature maybe that's part of just can't nature i don't know but if you guys let me know in the comments what do you think about all these statements you know, ongoing emotional abuse. That's the reason why, um, why I can't responsibly drink alcohol. And I think in the last video that I made, I just wanted to be like, but I. Aren't you an alcoholic addict? Or you're an addict, right? Addict, alcohol is a drug. So that may be the reason why you can't drink responsibly. And hey, you know what? I can't talk crap because I do, you know, I I do take, I, I really don't drink anymore, but I mean, I, when I was going through methadone withdrawal this summer, I definitely was drinking to help the withdrawals. Um, but it's a, it's a slippery slope when you're, when you're an influencer that big and you're telling people that it's okay to drink, it's okay to take Adderall, it's okay to take gabapentin. I mean, and I'm not saying you can't better your life like that, but to put that out to an audience that big and have people think that that's okay, um, it's it's a bit misleading, I'm not gonna lie. So, just my opinion, let's go. I can, and other people can, and abstinence isn't the only way, and you could do it this way and that way, and all platforms, and harm reduction, and you know, I, I'm very diehard on that hill, so in my last video, I was like, but I can. You can't. If your business Sorry, guys, for the little advertisement. 
No, you can't. 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 Did I just say can't? Can't. I, I have realized that, oh, I don't want to cry. I'm sorry, you guys. I, it's really overwhelming, and I feel a lot of pressure, and, um, and I, I need to be honest with myself. Let's take a moment of silence, you guys, for Jessica her tears and her sorrows can we can we please take a moment of silence no chat don't don't say anything in the chat please moment of silence first and foremost and i am struggling with alcohol i genuinely meant what i said in my last video you know i, I had a little bit of time damn she actually is this is the first time i've actually seen jessica truly cry so you know what i i do i feel bad for her you know she's she's in a pickle in life right now you guys and uh you know over here at Luke GTV, we we have a lot of fun. We make some jokes, but you know we're humans too. So like I, I do feel that man, and you know she she's in a hell of a bind right now. You know she uh she's a huge influencer on YouTube, all eyes on her. I mean it's a lot of a lot of pressure. So I'm without drinking, and I really did think I was okay, and it was just oh the stress and and everything I'm going through. Um, that was the problem. Alcohol's not the problem, which is. There's some truth to that, you know? Uh, alcohol became my solution. I know a lot of you guys think that I am in a full-blown relapse, um, that I'm using hard drugs, and that's just not true. And for someone that has- So, okay, so, that's just not true. She, 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 she hasn't done any drugs. So, all right, so let's just say, you know, Jason was in the house, Vern was in the house, you know, she had the text, there's confirmation. She, there was the text message between her and Mindy where she said, hey, yeah, give me this and I'll give you a couple Xans. So she had Xanax on her. Mindy says that she's been buying Adderall and Xanax for months. And she also said that she relapsed on meth. And she also had two addicts in her house using and getting rid of stuff in the house consistently. So. I mean, if she didn't use in that situation, then she is definitely like an outlier. She is the strongest willed addict I have ever met because I, I could not have people in my house using for that long and just stay away from it. I mean, that's crazy, you guys. I mean, that's, she's a, no wonder she's the queen of calming down violent men. She's the queen. She's, she, she is ride or die. She is, she's just, she defies odds, you guys. I mean, and maybe that's just it. Maybe Jessica is just different. She is just different than me. She's different than you. She's different than all of us. She, she, you know, the rules don't apply to Jessica, you guys. So, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. She is king. She's the top. She's a, you know, she is a, what did Reese say when they're in that argument? Um, she is a boss bit, you know what I mean? She's a boss. Has been on the internet for four years and repetitively told over and over again by trolls on the internet that I'm not sober. Um, I was really defensive and I kind of came over the top and was defensive and aggressive and I shouldn't have been. And I'm sorry. I can't and won't admit to things that are not happening. There is no one in my home. There is no one using in my home or selling out of my home. I will do anything to protect my babies. But there's so much noise online. And so she, even if there was, there's, there's not a chance in hell that she would admit it because her kids are at stake and she knows it. And what she says later on in the video, you guys might find a little entertaining because it kind of contradicts a lot of things. But just thought I'd throw that out there. Receipts and snapshots and text messages and all this stuff that paints a picture of, oh my God, she runs a trap house. Um, and at first- No, no one's saying you ran a trap house, but there's pretty good evidence that there was people using and, you know, getting rid of stuff in your house. You know, there's uh, pretty good evidence, Jess. And, you know, frankly, we're worried about you. So, I don't know. So when I started seeing all of it, I, I'll be honest, I kind of laughed it off because I've heard crazy rumors about myself that weren't true this whole time. So I was like, that's insane. 
No, there, there's never, there's never been like, yeah, the, but these aren't rumors. Yeah. There may have been rumors. I never heard about those rumors. Um, I made videos about her five months ago, but it, and it had nothing to do with her using it. It just had to do with, I didn't agree with the fact she put Reese's business all out there, smeared his name, made him look like a bad dude. Um, and you know, maybe he was a bad dude, but, um, I don't know, man. It just, you know, and even back then when I made the videos five months ago, I said it in my videos. I said, she, if I said, if Reese relapsed, I was like, she's most likely using too, guaranteed. And from what I've heard, her and her and Reese were buying stuff from Jason before her and Jason, you know, got together. But hey, you know, who knows? That's insane. No one's gonna think that. No one's gonna believe that. Like, my reputation is good enough online to where most people, the ride or die crew, they're. I don't know. You're never gonna believe that I am putting my babies in harm's way or that I'm using or that I'm selling, but looking back through everything, looking from the outside in, I would believe it too. And I understand, I understand. Damn, you guys, I think Jess has turned a milestone. She, you know, she's, she's, she's getting down on the level. She's like, Psh, I'd believe it too, you know? Understand why people think that I am in a full blown relapse. I understand how it could look like I am being reckless. To be completely transparent, I just want. So, Jessica's whole tone in this innocent, like, I'm so concerned. And you know what? I, I, I would believe it too if I were you guys. And just this delicate tone. And then you see your text messages where she just says, My name rings bells on the streets. And this, that, and the third, and I'm a boss, and I'm the the queen of calming down violent men, uh, and like the way she belittles Reese and the tech, like it just doesn't align with this like persona she has online where she's so delicate and fragile and, and harm reduction, mental health and stress, emotional abuse and financial abuse. <laughs> I don't know wanted the drama to just go away so I could get back to me again so I could get back to making the content that I love and the vlogs that I love and the art that I love because I have been robbed from that for a long time and I just wanted that to just yes we we robbed her of her her art man we robbed we've robbed her from being able to you know she's she, she hasn't wanted to come on I don't know if that's what she meant by it but whatever go away so that you know, because I wanted that back so badly, still do. Um, I rushed to put out the video where I showed my prescription and I did say that I am helping people and I said that I could have a response. Well, supposedly she got that prescription like a week before the video started, but heard she was buying them on the streets or they'll do reaction videos or body language analysis videos so even sitting here right now i am there's body language analysis videos on jessica Kent. well i don't know you guys i mean hey i said it six months ago i said the fake crying when ryan leone died rest in peace ryan leone my biggest inspiration for my channel rest in peace to a real one but uh I don't know, man. I mean, it's just when you're the amount of crying she does during camera, it's like, I can just imagine it like this. It's like, okay, time to make a video, get the lights ready, get your camera set up, you know, put your makeup on and then you get on camera and then it's like, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. Like to me personally, like, if I'm going to grieve or cry, like, I'm going to get that shit done out of the way. Like, I'm not going to want to get on camera when I'm still, like, in a mode where I'm crying. But, hey, everyone's different. So, you know, maybe Jess is an outlier. It's uncomfortable. And I don't know. I don't really know what to say. But I'll just show you guys, you know, because I could sit here all day and tell you that I'm fine, tell you that I'm good, tell you that I'm not in a relapse, tell you that there's no one using or selling in my house, but if it's me watching, I wouldn't believe it. So I'm just gonna Duh, show you Jessica. Guys. 
I'm going to get back to filming and doing art and traveling and collabing and going on podcasts and doing all the things that I love. I'm going to get back into writing my book. And it starts little by little because it is so hard to pull myself out of a depression. And I feel as though um, on a daily basis, there are new things being done to emotionally abuse me and not just from one person. And it's just been a lot to digest. Am I perfect? So if I don't know if she's kind of referring to Mindy maybe, but you guys realize that the whole reason this started is because after Jessica kicked Mindy out of her house, she exposed her online telling people, don't buy her beauty products, she's relapsing. You're gonna be contributing to her relapse and then said a bunch of other stuff to put dirt on her name. So Jessica was the one who started this. So I really don't feel bad for her. You know, I really don't. I mean, like, you you wanna be an influencer on YouTube and then you wanna like purposely drag someone's name, actually two people's name through the mud, Reese, the father of her children, and Mindy. So she's dragged two people through the mud and it just, I don't know, it just seems very disingenuous. It just, I mean, it, this seems a little bit calculated. You know, there are some things she said that I, I do think maybe she maybe she is having a bit of a realization and I hope I really hope she is especially for those kids sake but um I don't know you guys it just I'm a little I'm 50 50 you know part of me I want I want to see the good side of Jess I want to see like I want to see her accountability and stuff like that but um it just it it, it looks like she's attempting to be like it seems like she's like putting on a display of like, oh, I'm being vulnerable without actually being vulnerable. Um, am I a body language analysis? No, but it's just, it's when you've been watching someone for years and years on YouTube and you see their demeanors change, it's, it's kind of obvious to me at least. So just thought I'd throw Absolutely that out there. Absolutely the fuck not. Am I working every day? to get back to the crazy content creating queen that I used to be. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's a process though. Um, I have a lot of work to do. I know you guys understand that. So much so that if I did relapse, I would just tell you guys, just like I did with alcohol. Um, uh, okay, well, it actually, I'm gonna have to heavily disagree with you there, Jess, because um, it, you started your YouTube channel, let's say five years ago, right? And six years ago, actually. And it took you until two years. So it took you about four years to come out and say that you've actually been using medical marijuana this whole time. And then uh, like six months later, it was, oh yeah, by the way, I'm on, I'm prescribed ADHD medication. And then like another six months later, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, I do have a glass of wine with dinner here and there. And then a little bit after that, it's like, oh, actually I've been drinking every day. So, um, and also I, I highly doubt you would, she said, if I was using, I would just tell you guys. Why lie about that? Why not just say, you know, hey, you guys, like I've been struggling but there's certain things I can't say and that, you know, there's certain things I just can't say and just leave it at that. But no, she said, if I was using, I would tell you guys, no, you wouldn't because CPS is involved. There's kids involved. There's absolutely no way you would tell us. And she knows that. So calling big caperoni on that big cap. So not here to bash the girl. Well, no, I'm not here to bash girl. I'm just honestly giving you guys my opinion. People can call it bashing. You can call it harassing, all this, that, and the third. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. I'm allowed to speak my opinion if I want to. And if you don't want the feedback, if you don't want the criticism, then don't be a content creator. Don't put your stuff out on there. I've been criticized many times. You know what? And that's just part of the game. So I guess that. I guess that's and it, that you guys. And that leads me to the next thing I want to talk about, and it's really weighing heavy on me, weighing heavily on me. Um, and that is 
what I said about the recovery community in my last video. <laughs> um, yeah, she said she no longer wants to be associated with the recovery community. I watched that video back and it sounds like I said I'm not involved in the recovery community at all when I was really just trying to kind of share how my personal recovery came about. I don't know. It may no, that's not what she said at all. And we can pull up the video, but she was like, she, she was just like, I mean, she didn't like talk total crap in the recovery community. She's like, if that's what the recovery community is, I'm not a part of the recovery community. She's like basically backtracking. She said, cause you know, she's always said I'm a person in long-term recovery. And then in that video, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, she said something about, um, I'm no longer going to say that she might've said, I don't know. She said, so I, I should have been more studied up on that. Actually, I don't have time to study up on that, but Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, you guys. We only have five likes. Please smash that like button. Let's go. Makes no sense. I, I was trying to describe to you guys what my journey in recovery looked like, and that wasn't part of a 12-step program. You know, I was court-ordered, forced to do the program, but my personal journey in recovery has come by myself until I started this channel, until I met you guys and started filming videos. Before YouTube, I was alone in this. So the love and positivity that I have seen in the recovery community has come online. And I did not make that clear at all. Well, I mean, that's because like online, you know, if you go to meetings and stuff like that, and I just know from personal experience, like people are actually going to hold you accountable. People are actually going to set you to a standard and, and you can't. You can only fake the funk so long if you're like, you got a home group or you go to a meeting consistently. Like, you know, people, it doesn't matter who you are. People, it doesn't matter if you're Jessica Kent, it doesn't matter if you're this, you're that. People will call you out on your shit. And she definitely seems like a type of person who does not want to be told what to do or how to do it. So makes sense. I mean, you know, with the antisocial personality disorder diagnosis, um, Typically, people like that don't like to be told what to do. They do not like authority figures. You tell them to do one thing, they do the opposite type thing, so. The only thing that I meant to articulate is that I'm alone. You know, I'm just sitting in this room by myself talking to a camera, right? So I'm not involved in the recovery community in the same way as a lot of other people that actively go to 12-step meetings and things like that. The only time I go to a 12-step meeting is if someone wants me to give them a chip or a tag or um, just be there for them. I don't go for my own recovery, and that is what I was trying to explain. And it didn't come out that way at all. I do work with a treatment center, and I do... Um she be a, she, she's a marketer. I, I used to be a marketer for a treatment center, and it is one... Well, I can't speak on hers. I, I, the one I was in was in South Florida. But um, you make a lot of freaking money off that, you know. Um, and if she's still using and helping, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, is there something wrong with using and helping people getting into treatment? I don't know. Like, I'm not the morality police. It does To me, it seems kind of messed up. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, she, she really doesn't seem to be fit to be, like, helping other addicts get clean. Like, she needs to humble herself. Well, actually, you know what? Scratch that. I... I'm not an I, I I'm in no position to be giving anyone advice. I have 30 days clean myself, but I mean, if you really want to go about it at the right way, you know, like you need to like, in my opinion, I would humble myself, get to a meeting, surround myself with positive people, and you know, build myself up like genuinely. But you know, I don't know. That's just me. So. Everyone's different though. Everyone's recovery program looks different and I get that. Um, actively help people find recovery in my personal life and professional life. And my recovery changed over time. You know, I went from abstinent-based recovery to cannabis. Uh, and then I went through one of the most traumatic experiences in recent memory. I am literally going through hell. And, and then I went through one of the most traumatic experiences. Yeah, I mean, I get it, Jess. Jess, I get it. I get it, you know? Reese is the problem, not Jason. I get it.
And that has taken a massive toll on my mental health, on my physical health. Mental health, three times. You know, um, people want to pick apart how I look and if I talk too fast or if I move too fast or um, if I'm pale or whatever, if I'm skinny, they want to pick it apart and say, this is from drug use. But I can fucking promise you that it is from narcissistic abuse and the trauma that I have endured. Um, and I, I... How is she qualified to say that she's going through narcissistic abuse? Can someone enlighten me on this because isn't she diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder which that's actually sociopath but you know psh, apples and oranges um but can someone enlighten me like she keeps saying narcissistic abuse narcissistic abuse like i don't know can like can she be a little more specific like what is narcissistic abuse and why is reese a narcissist and are you are you like eligible to be t speaking on something like I don't know I mean it, it seems to me like I, I don't think she's really qualified to be speaking on that um she throws a lot she she throws out a lot of like you know fancy terms that like sound good and like you know just common everyday people pretty much you know it just sounds good it really does like she knows how to dress up a sentence for sure like it just to me it, it just it seems like a half-hearted like a half-hearted way of like cleaning her side of the street you know what i mean because well think about it i mean with all those text messages you guys and, and so far she hasn't said anything about the text messages being f like fake she hasn't said they weren't real she hasn't said anything about that um so so far to me this sounds like kind of just like you know like People, if you, some person gets caught in a lie and then they like tell like a half truth to kind of like make it better because they know that you knew they were lying. That's what it seems like she's doing. Um, I mean, I don't blame her uh, with her situation and her children. I wouldn't admit it either. So I don't know if this is like her way of basically saying like, you guys, I relapsed. But like she said multiple times, like, you guys, I, I swear I didn't relapse. Like, if I were trying, like, so she, I don't think she's trying to, like, disguise it and, like, make us fill in the blanks and be like, okay, yeah, she's just, she means she's using. No, I think she literally is, maybe she even believes it herself. She's trying to convey to us that, no, oh, you guys, I was just drinking. I just gave Man Mandy Xanax, or I just gave Mindy Xanax. I didn't take any myself. You guys, there was just two other addicts using in my house for weeks and months, but I was just drinking. I wasn't using. I just watched them use for months. Do you guys believe that? Come on now. She must be the most strong-willed addict in the world to have. Actually, no, she had. <phone rings> Leah, answer the phone. Fuck, sorry, you guys. I, I don't know, you guys. It. I mean, sorry, the phone call. F someone called on the phone, but um, she had three addicts in her house, you guys. Three addicts using around her. What are the chances? I mean, like, how? If she didn't use, then I don't even think she's an addict. If you can be around using for months and months and months and months, then we cut from the dip. We we cut from a different cloth, sister. Come on now. I'm trying. I'm really trying. It's just gonna take me a lot of time. You know, even now I I see things differently than I did just a month ago, and um, I have to give myself the same time and love and patience and grace as I give everyone else. And you know. Um, Takers always find givers, you know, and uh, some people will take until there's nothing left. But I have to be just firm in my boundaries and firm in. She's just, she's saying a bunch of vague statements. She's not really like clarifying anything. She's not, she, she's dressing up her words. She, she, I mean, she makes a hell of a word salad. I'll tell you that. Tastes wonderful. But, um, 
Yeah, Jess, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really want to say that you're coming clean and like I'm seeing improvements, but like it, it's really hard for me to say that. Like I, in the beginning, I was like, OK, maybe she's, you know, maybe she's like actually starting to see like the stuff she's doing. But the more and more I watch it, it's just it's it's just very empty. It's very vague. It's. um you know, there's a lot of like victim, like, or like, you know, victim statements. Like she, she wants you to feel sorry for, her. um, you know, abuse, mental health, narcissistic abuse, trauma, stress, uh, harm reduction. Like she uses all these like big fancy words and it's just like, just spit it out. Just say what's really happening. I, I have yet to you know, in her earlier videos, she was much more vulnerable and transparent. That's why I I was a fan of Jessica. I liked her videos. She was very transparent. And it's like, she she's still not to the point where she's actually being completely vulnerable. She still has that wall up. And, um, you know, that's okay. Like, you know, I mean, sometimes there's stages in your recovery, or like when you just relapsed. And, you know, she may still have that wall up, but like, if you keep that wall up too long, you're not going to stay clean. I mean, she like, I'll give her this. She doesn't look high in the video. She does kind of look like she's coming down. Like she, like she maybe like was on a bender for a while and now she's been clean for like four or five days. She kind of looks like she's still coming down. That's just the vibe I'm getting, but she doesn't look high. The TikTok video, she definitely like, I, I'd, I'd be willing to put like, a lot of money on it that she was high. Like it was like her whole tone of voice change, raspy voice, like talking super fast and like her whole demeanor was different, you know? Um, and you notice her demeanor is different on these TikTok videos where she, when she was calling Mindy out or she was addressing things and she was like acting all tough and queen, queen B and all this, all this good stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go. And my um, dedication to get healthy, not just for me, but for my babies. And when I say healthy, I just mean healing the insane amount of emotional abuse and damage that has been done to me. Um, I do want to say before I forget that I am deeply sorry for anyone that I might have hurt with my last video when I said that I wasn't part of the recovery community. That was not my intention. I, I really- Jessica, you didn't hurt anyone. No one cares, okay? No one gives a sh- You know? No one cares, Jessica. What you're doing, what you should apologize for doing is misleading millions of people saying- it's okay, you know, like I'm using a harm, re I'm, I'm, I'm harm reduction, Adderall, drinking, weed, um, gabapentin, like, and we all know, and I'm not even listing the illegal drugs. That's what you should be apologizing for. Like you are the spokesperson for recovery. She should, she should make that clear because that is what is damaging people, you guys. And I don't know, I, I'm just not seeing a lot of like, I'm not seeing, I, I'm seeing like, she just wants to clean things up really quick and she wants to go back to YouTube and get her cash cow, cow rolling again. Because I think she, she knows, she, I, I'd be scared if I was her too, because you know, the one thing that she survives on, she depends on this. See, it's different with me. I don't depend on YouTube to, to survive. I don't depend on it. But her mortgage, her car payments, her kids' food, everything comes from YouTube and TikTok. So I'd be scared too. So, I mean, I can't blame her for that. Really genuinely just meant that my personal journey in recovery kind of came alone until YouTube and I wasn't clear in that. I also want to apologize for just being kind of reckless in my verbiage, you know, um, saying that, you know, I could drink and this is my medication and I can smoke weed and blah, blah, blah. Okay, maybe I can, but that doesn't mean that everyone can. That doesn't mean that it's safe for everyone. That doesn't mean that it's even a good idea to try for some people, you know? And in terms of my alcohol use, um, 
like I said in the beginning, maybe one day I can get back to having a drink at dinner a couple times a year. I am a really long way away from that. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm so glad, Jessica, she came clean. She came clean, you guys. She admitted. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica came clean. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm so happy she finally admitted her wrongs. She drank alcohol. That was it, you guys. She drank. That was the whole thing. She drank, you guys. She drank. I'm just so proud of her. Um, also, I do know that you guys want to talk about drama and he said, she said, and receipts and text messages. There is so much I want to say. There's so much I want to say. I want to defend myself, which I'm learning is a trauma response. So is oversharing. So I love that for me. That's why I have such great dark humor. <laughs> there is so much that I want to say. But there's so much that I won't say, if that makes sense, because I would rather take hate online every day of the week than cause harm in someone <laughs> else's life, recovery, freedom. And if that means that some of you guys just won't believe me, then then I'll take it. I signed up for all of this. I shared a lot, maybe some of it I shouldn't have, but I know where my mental health is and I know I have a really good support system. I don't necessarily know what what other people's mental health is like and I don't want to cause harm and that might sound like bullshit to you guys and if it does I'm sorry it doesn't sound like I don't know what it sounds like I just don't know what she's talking about like sure just scrambled sentences of just vague blanket statements like so far we're 14 minutes into the video and what has she said she's literally like the aha moment was I drank and it's like, so, okay, you drank, okay. All right, well, and it, I don't know, you guys, I, I'm torn because it's like, you know, on one hand, it's like, I get it. You don't wanna put all your personal info on there. You don't wanna put all that on the internet. I totally freaking get it. Like, don't blame you. But it's like, if you say you're coming clean, you know, come clean or at least like, you don't have to say it specifically, but just give us an idea. Like I messed up you guys. And I just, I can't really talk about it on YouTube, but I messed up, you know, that's all you got to say. You don't have to specifically say like, Oh, I did this. I did this, that, and the third, but just say like, you know what you guys, like, I apologize. Like I, I really messed up. Like I've been, you know, I've been down in the, you know, like my mental health has been messed up. Yeah. You can say mental health once, but don't lean on mental health, mental health, mental health, abuse, trauma, narcissistic abuse. Like, don't rely on the sympathy, like to explain what you did wrong all the time. Like it just, you know, even if you are telling the truth, don't rely on it because it makes you sound like you're full of it. Come on now. I just don't think it's responsible or necessary to continue to rehash he said, she said especially when I know damn well that it could cause harm in someone else's life, like many other people, some of which never decided to even step foot in front of a camera. The goal of all of my videos is education, mental health, prison reform, recovery. Um, it's not to cause harm or division or start drama on the internet. Anytime that I make a mistake with that or I see that I have caused harm, I see that I did something that wasn't okay, or if I see that I've used my platform irresponsibly, I will immediately own it. And, and I did all of those things. So moving. And you owned it? How did you, she didn't, how, what did, how did she own it? How did she own it? She, she, all she did, she admitted she was drinking and she said, I apologize to the recovery community because I said I wasn't in, in recovery. You didn't own anything you did, Jessica. So, you know what? Like, I, I, Jessica, I like the fact that you're coming clean. You're starting to, like, actually, you know, realize some things. But, like, you didn't do a whole lot. You just kind of scrambled your words. You did, like, a little half admission. You know, you said you're drinking. We all knew that. Tell us something we don't know, for gosh sakes. You know? I don't know, man. Moving forward, I would like to just talk about how I'm doing uh, my journey and what my life looks like and do my best to 
not reference other people. Um, I'm also being very careful um, and guarded with. All right, you guys, that, that's about enough to be quite frank with you. I mean, that's about enough. Now, okay, so that is the timid Jessica we all know. Let's uh let's look at some things here real quick. Now let's see if this matches up. So can I go downstairs for one, please? Absolutely not. Pat knows Jay will kill him. I'm going to stab you. Just one. Tell Jay can I have one, please. It's really hard for me to not sit here and take one hit. Let me have one, please. Compromise. So that is the kind of atmosphere Jessica had in her house. And... She said she didn't use. And that was going on in her house for weeks, if not months. So that's this is the kind of stuff we're dealing with. Give me give me 80 cash and I'll app it back to you. Oh. So she's doing some transactions. You know, you we've already seen those, but I'm just trying to paint a picture of you guys to like, you know, that's the image Jessica wants you guys to see online. And this is the real Jessica. That is Jessica. How many Zans do you need? That's Jessica. But no, it, it was just alcohol, you guys. It was just alcohol. It, it wasn't anything else. It was just alcohol. But that is straight out of the horse's mouth. Can't believe I... Bought a car because Reese is a P.O. <laughs> How many Zans do you need? That says it all right there. But no, alcohol is the problem, you guys. Alcohol is the issue.